Okay, the first question we have to answer is plot a graph of h against t square. Determine slope and error in that slope. Now, this is a typical sketch of a graph sheet. Are you getting it? This is just a sketch of the graph sheet, so to speak. And uh, we want to use this sketch to see how we can plot these readings we have here. Want to use the sketch. First and foremost, what do you do if you want to plot this graph? Write your date. Write the date of the experiment there. Then write a title. A graph of a graph of H in meter against what against t square in what second squared are you getting it then what you need to do is to choose appropriate scale looking at what we have here h is here and t square is here if you are choosing appropriate scale choosing appropriate scale will help your points not to what jump back one per side it will help you not to jump back one side look at the highest is 0 0.1 is 1.34 lowest is 0 0.18 and in the instruction plot a graph of h against t square they did not specify starting from the origin if they specify starting from the origin then you obey that but if they do not specify starting from the origin all you need to do is choose where you are to start from. Remember on our channel, we have posted video on what to do if they say starting from the word origin. And if you want to watch that, type Chidons Daniel. Just type Chidons Daniel. Chidons Daniel, how to choose appropriate scale. How to choose appropriate scale then you will be able to choose appropriate scale or see how to choose appropriate scale now let's see how we can plot this the highest is seven and the lowest is 3.28 the highest is 0 0.1 and the lowest is it for your horizontal we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven if i say here to be three 3.54, 4.55, 5.56, 6.57, 7.5. Wow, it can accommodate. So if I come for horizontal here, I will say horizontal is what? 3, comma. So here, then 6.0, 6.5, 7.0, 7 7.5. Then label your Cartesian as a T square in second squared. Then this is for the X axis or for the horizontal axis. For the Y axis, how can we put that? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So if we say that, here is 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8. You see that it will not go. Then if we say that here is 0 0.2, if we say that here is 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, 1, 1 1.2, 1.4, 1.6. Wow. So let's use 0 0.2. 0 0.2. So we bracket them. So we are going by 3 comma what? 0 0.2. 3 comma 0 0.2. I'm cleaning it so that we can write it carefully or clearly. 3 comma 0 0.2. 0 0.2 for the vertical. 3 for the horizontal. This 3, we wrote it fair because this is... With respect to 0 0.0.2, that is this for S, this for Y. Okay? And so, 0 0.18, if you have 0 0.2, we have here 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 0 0.10, 0 0.11, 0 0.12, 0 0.13, 0 0.14, 0 0.15, 0 0.16, 0 0.17, 0 0.18, 0 0.19, 0 0.
and here is h in meter as is then that means if here is 0 0.2 and here is 0 0.4 this minus this will give you 0 0.2 that is what it means that means the beginning here should be about zero zero yes middle of is 0 0.1 0 0.18 okay very close so 0 0.18 against 7.24 7.24 this is 7 we now say that for us to know next thing is to know the value of individual words small small lines you are seeing inside your graph we are taking all these small buses as the big buses you are seeing in that your standard graph sheets and so if I say 7.5 7 minus 7, it will give me 0 0.5. All over 10, go to 0 0.05. Wow. So this is what? 7, in between here is 7.25. So when you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have 10 buses here. That is what I'm trying to sketch. We have 10 buses. 10 buses. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 7.05, 7.1, 7.15, 7.2, 7.25, 7.3, 7.35, 7.4. So 7.25 is in between 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, at the fifth. That is 7.25. And we are looking for 7.24. We can minus 7.25 and plot it against 0 0.18. This is 0 0.18 and this is 0 0.2. This first point is 0 0.2, like this point, 0 0.2. So 0 0.18 should be close to it. So we will be locating the one, two, three, four, five. We should be locating them here. That is close to that line for that zero point what two. Zero point three eight against six point five five. This is six point five. Then plus zero point zero five. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 6.55 will be at the next line. And 0 0.38 will be somewhere close here. Close to 0 0.4. We have this point here. Then the next one. 0 0.84 against 4.8. This is 0 0.8. In between is 0 0.9. So... 0 0.84 should be somewhere here against what 4.8 this is 4.5 4.55 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 4.55 4.6 4.65 4.7 4.75 4.8 okay i'll trace it up 4.8, 4, 4. Okay, we we'll trace it up to here. Then we we'll have it here. Then we we'll move again. 1.1 against 4. This is 4, and this is 1. So it should be around here. Then we go again, 1.34, 1.34 against 3.28, 1.3, this is 1.3, half of it is 1.3, so 1.34 against 3.28, so if you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 3.1, 3.1, 3.2, 3.25. We trace it up. 
we locate them. And so we have located our point. Next is to locate our line of best fit. But before we get our line of best fit, we need to get our centroid. Add up all the values of H. When you're adding all the values of H, um, H plus 0 0.38 plus 0 0.84 plus 1.10 plus 1.34 divided by 5. 0 0.77. 0.77. So add up all the values of what H and divide it by 5. You have this. Add up all the values of T square and divide it by 5. 7.24 plus 6.55 plus 4.8 plus 4 plus 3.28. And that divided by 5. 5 points what? 1.7. Point one seven four. Okay, and so we look at them. This is five point five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, five point five. Oh, this is five point one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 5.1, 5.15 against, against 0 0.77. So once you get your centroid, you circle it. Because in between 0 0.6 and 0 0.8 is 0 0.7. Somewhere here is 0 0.7, half of it. So 0 0.77 should be close to that 0 0.8. So you circle it as a centroid. Now we will get a line of best fit drawn. When drawing your line of best fit, ensure that it pass through the centroid. Let's draw it. We have located our line of best fit. This is the best fit zone and our line of worst fit, as you can see. And look at the vertical zone for this. And this is the top vertical for this one. Then, we now say that, remember that they pass through this word, centroid, so to speak. Try to use a sketch of, I mean, try to use a standard graph sheet to do your own. This is just a sketch. Now we say slope equals change in h over change in t square. For the best fit, here is about 1.26. 1.26. You now say 1.26 minus come down, come down to this 0 0.4. 1.26 minus 0 0.4. All over them for the horizontal aspect. This is about 3.5, 3.5 and what 6. Point what 3, 5. 3.5 minus 6.35. Yeah. Okay, we now say 1.26 minus 0 0.4 divided by bracket 3.5 minus 6.35. That will be giving you minus 0 0.30. That will be giving you minus 0 0.302. Minus 0 0.302. Remember that this wherever the vertical and horizontal intercepts becomes your what your x uh, x2 wherever vertical and horizontal intercept becomes your x2 don't just have mentality you have for that positive own that you call uh here s1 here no wherever vertical and horizontal intercepts is your s2 
is a S2. Okay, so we have noted that. What about the worst fit on? This is about 1.24, 1.24 minus, this is about 0 0.6, all over, this is about 3.15, that is where the vertical and horizontal intersect is about 3.15, 3.15 minus, minus, this is about 5.7, 5.7. You also press it to your calculator, 1.24 minus 0 0.6 divided by bracket 3.15 minus 5.7. That is minus 0 0.251 equals to minus 0 0.251. What is the unit of this meter per second square? What is it of the meter per second square? Remember that it must have its units. If you do not attach the unit of what to solve, you will be subtracted some max. Max, some max can be subtracted from your answer or from your result. So, this is meter per second square. This is meter per second square. That is by the way. So, we say best fit slope is equal to minus 0 0.302 meter per second square. Worst fit slope is equal to minus 0 0.251 meter per second square based on the results we have. Then, how do we get our error in slope? There is need for you to get your error in slope. The reason is because it's possible that the slope you have is not in their word marking script. But when you are able to get your error in slope, the implication is that it will be able to what? Put you to be on a safer side. Okay. Error in slope is equal to, error in slope is equal to, find the modulus of best fit minus 0 0.302 minus what? Worst fit minus 0 0.251. Get their modulus. That means... When you minus them, whatever you get, if it is positive, leave it as positive. If it is negative, leave it as negative. Um, if it is positive, leave it as positive. But if it is negative, remove the negative sign. Minus 0 0.302 plus 0 0.251. Okay. We have it to be 0 0.051. Minus 0 0.051. So I will remove that minus and put 0 0.051 meter per second square. Therefore, my slope finally should be, what is the best fit on? Minus 0 0.302. That one will remain as it is. But only the error of it that you will change to positive when it is negative. But it, when it is positive, remain it as positive. Plus or minus 0 0.051 meter per second square. That means in the marking script, they should be looking at, if they say minus 0 0.302 plus 0 0.051, if they check their marking script and this is not their answer, what they will check is, what about this plus 0 0.051? Minus 0 0.0, minus 0 0.302 plus 0 0.051 will give you minus 0 0.251. Then if they check this and it's not in the option, the implication is that the last one is the last hope you have. Minus 0 0.302 minus 0 0.051 will give you what? Minus 0 0.302 minus 0 0.051. That will give you minus 0 0.353. All of them are meter per second square. So this is the possible answer, or this, or this. One of them must be in the market script. Yes. And so that is the essence of you getting your error in slope. If you get your error in slope, whatever answer you got as your experimental slope in your experiment, please don't panic. Try to get the error in slope using this pattern. The best fits own as it pass through this centroid. We connected only this point and uh, and uh, which other point? Only one point it connected. It connected only one point here. 
but this point and this point fell out this side this point and this point fell out the other side we say it is okay because two points fell in opposite side but if it is for worse fit it doesn't concern me as it's passing through this centroid it carry only one point and this centroid then the other point that fell out the other point that fell out this is about line of was fit look at it carry this carry this carry this even carry this point but only one point is now falling out are you getting it so as you have gotten your line of was fit too you can see it gave you 0 0.251 that would tell them that wow it's experimental errors you encounter that made you have the best fit on to be minus 0 0.302 someone can say that this one this one you are seeing that connected one, two, three, and four. That it is the best fit because it passed through the central and it captured about what four points. Only one point it did not capture. Then the other one should be the what worst fit. So if we go by that, the implication is that here will be your what best fit, and here will be your what worst fit. And you come here, you change it. Here is what? Best fit. And here is what? Worst fit. You can see now that when you are dealing with experiments, graph, graph aspect of it, you will see that we don't have one way. You can see before here was best fit and here was worst fit. And you check this worst fit. It could capture four points. One two three four one two three four are you getting it now it could capture four points only this point and this point fell out on opposite side but the one of best fit we call best fit before it capture only what one point and two fell this side two fell the other side so we're going with the one that capture more points as the best fit own and the one that capture less point as the worst fit was own. Are you getting it? So I can say that here is worst fit and here is best fit. Then my slope will change now. After I subtract, the same error of the slope is what we get. Yes, the same error of the slope because when you say this minus, minus it, it will still give you this. So, but the slope will be the best fit, which is minus 0 0.2 five one minus zero point two five one plus or minus zero point zero five one have you seen it now that means this is your result that is what i'm now concluding this is my experimental slope and this this plus this will give me what this plus this minus zero point two five one plus zero point 051 that will be giving me 0 0.2 minus 0 0.20 you can see then minus 0 0.251 minus 0 0.051 that will be giving me minus 302 All of them are seen in meter per second square. You can see, just suddenly we have changed our results after analyzing what we got. That the best fits on the worst, the former worst fits line of best fit, the former line of worst fit gave you what that this enter, this enter, the centroid enter, and this point enter. That is okay. Only one point fell this side and fell the other side. But the former best fits own only carry one point and the centroid two point fair this side two point fair this side. That means the former worst fits own capture more points than the best fits own. And so we change it now that this is the best fits own and this is the worst fits own. That doesn't mean that when you just do the best fit, the one you call best fit, and you come and realize that the other worst fit is better to be called best fit that you shouldn't change it. You are the one doing the experiment. It is the result to bring out that you'll be used, that they will use to judge you. And so try to make sure you check what you are doing very well. 
Okay. And so we have this as our result. That our slope is what? Zero point minus zero point two five one plus or minus zero point zero five one meter per second square. Now this is our error and this is our slope and these are the other possible value because of plus and minus. Okay, then we move. We go to the next question. The next question say find the intercept and error in intercept. Wow, going for the intercept, we said that. We said that for our intercepts, intercept of what feet is about one point. It's about one point. Here is one point five, right? One point five. So it's about one point. One point four two. No, it's about one point four five. About one point four five. So. Was fit intercept intercept of the was fit is about 1.45. What is the unit meter? Then, what is the intercept of the best fit is about 1.3. 1.3 intercept of the best fit is about 1.3 meter. That means. Error in intercept will be equal to find the modulus 1.3 minus 1.45 or 1.45 minus 1.3, whichever one. But make sure the answer is in positive. You write 1.3 minus 1.45. That will be giving minus 0 0.15. That means I will say it is 0 0.15, no minus meter. That is error in intercept. So, what should be my intercept now? I will say my intercept will be equal. What is the best fit on? Intercept equals 1.3 plus or minus 1.30 plus or minus 0 0.15 meter. Yes. That is the error in intercept. 1.3 plus or minus 0 0.15 meter. Please don't forget to write your scale. Your scale for vertical axis for H axis 2C and because we are calling all these boss the big big boss. That big big boss you have been seeing in your graph sheet represent what? That for H axis this minus this 0 0.2 0 0.2 meter. Then for T square axis. We say 2cm represents what? 2cm represents this minus this, 0 0.5 seconds square. Very important. And so, we have succeeded to get our what? Intercept and error intercept. How do we get our what? Acceleration due to gravity. And what? The error in uh, acceleration due to gravity. Watch how we do it. Remember, that they said that this experiment obeyed the formula that said t equals to what two pi square root of h minus small h all over what g and so we need to transform this equation that they said this experiment obeyed now to transform it we have t squared equals to four two two pi okay let's take it line by line t equals to Take this square root, take this 2 pi, bring it inside the square root. If you want to bring 2 pi inside square root, you have to multiply 2 by itself, you have 4. Multiply by by itself, you have pi square, bracket, h minus. Are you getting it? Then you now put that square root. All over what? G. Now, removing this square root, you have to square this. Yes, t square equals to 4 pi square what? H minus H all over G. Then we want to make H subject of formula since we plotted the graph of H against this square. So we say, first of all, divide both sides by what? 4 pi square. We have T square over 4 pi square. T square over 4 pi square. This times this equals to gt square 
all over. Like g times t square, it will give you g t square. All over 4 pi square equals to h minus h. Then take this here, this side, take the other one, this side. h will be equal to what? h minus g t square all over 4 pi square. That means if you plot the graph of h against t square, this will be your slope. Are you getting it? That means minus g minus g over 4 pi square is equal to what is our slope? Minus 0 0.251. It is because here is negative. That is why we are getting a negative slope. So negative, we cancel negative. Therefore, our g will be equal to this times this. 4 shift pi square times 0 0.251. That will be giving us 9.91 meter per second squared. So this times this will give me this. So it's about transforming this to make h subject to small letter h subject of formula. So whenever you plot the graph of small letter h against t square, you will have minus g over 4 pi square as the slope and half h as the word intercept. That means the intercept we got represent our h. Yes. So what will be our intercept? Okay, we are putting our g. Let's get the error in g. Let's get the error in g, so to speak. After that, we we'll also get the intercept, which represent the height of the ceiling. We will get it. Okay, the error in g can be gotten using this formula. We say error in g all over g equals to Error in slope, standard error in slope, or over what slope? Then making error in g subject to formula g, g times standard error in slope, or over slope. Are you getting it? What is our g? We have our g to be equal to 9.91. 9.91 times what is standard error in slope? Our slope gave us dx, and so we'll forget about that minus and write 0 0.251. Okay, error in slope was error in slope was this minus this, right? Let's get it again. 0 0.302 minus 0 0.251. So 0 0.051 all over. What is your slope itself? 0 0.251. We'll neglect their negative, so to speak. The negative sign. Yes. Because the negative sign is telling you that this is what? Passing through the word. I mean, the negative sign is telling you that the slope is negative. So forget about that word, negative sign. It's just because of this formula that you are seeing that negative. It's showing that it's obeying the rule of this formula. So when we say 9.91 times 0 0.051 divided by 0 0.251, that will be giving you about what? 2.01 meter per second squared. So we say our standard error in slope is equal to what? Standard error in G is equal to 2.01. Therefore, my G will be equal to 9.91 plus or minus 2.01 meter per second square. So this, the value of G can be 9.91 or 9.91 plus this and 9.191 minus this. One of them will be in the word option. And so this is our word answer. Okay? Then we go for what? How to find our word height of the room. Height of room means the intercept. So what we got in the intercept represent the height of the room. Yes, because that's H we have. We say this is equal to minus G T square over 4 pi square plus H. So this height means height of the room, and it represents the intercept. And so height of the room becomes 
what is our height? We say the height of best fit, the intercept of best fit is equal to 1.3 plus or minus intercept of what? Well, this is 1.45, right? So plus or minus 0 0.15 meter. So that will be our what? Height. Yes, height of the room. 1.30 plus or minus. That thing we got as our intercept represent the height, so to speak. Then the next thing we want to what discuss is they say find the difference between rotational motion and what oscillatory motion. Wow. When we talk about rotational motion, we said that rotational motion simply means motion of a body around a circular path or around a round path. Are you getting it? Motion of a body or movement of a body around a circular path or round path. That is about rotational motion. But when we talk about oscillatory motion, we said it is a to and fro motion of a body. To and fro motion of a body whose acceleration is directed toward the center of its position and is directly proportional toward displacement. That means to and flow, it can be in a circular way and it can be in a vertical way, as we see in the spring experiment, where they will mount a load on a spring and it will be moving up and down. One, two, so you can get oscillation this way. One, two, three, four. Are you getting it? Then you can get it by what? Circular way. One, two, so. For oscillatory motion is to and fro motion of a body whose acceleration is directed towards the center of its position and is directly proportional to displacement. Whereas rotational motion is the movement or motion of a body round a circular path. It must be round. It cannot be vertical. It must be round. Do you get it? Let have it in your mind. Then what about precautions? In this experiment, we have discussed precaution in the other one. How we said. Since this experiment involves thread or strength, it means that we will use ruler to do our measurement. So error due to parallax must be avoided. So error due to parallax was avoided while taking my measurement from the meter rule by placing my eye vertically downward on the meter rule. So mention the error you avoided and how you avoided it. Even this um, air resistance was also avoided by work closing your what windows and doors to avoid interference of the wind. Yes, we also or by even by um, switching off the what electric fan. Any of these things can what uh, make sure that we avoid air resistance. So you put it this way: error due to parallax was avoided by taking my measurement vertically downward on the uh, on the meter rule. That is one. Two, air resistance was also avoided by shutting the windows door, switch off the wall electric fan to avoid what interference of the wall air or by the air. Then another thing, zero error because we are make, making use of measuring is uh, measuring uh, meter so to speak. We say zero error was also avoided by making sure that the reading is taken from zero or starting from zero. Yes, zero error was avoided by taking my measurement from zero. That is third point. Fourth point is that experimental error was also avoided by making sure that we can say that also um, experimental error was also avoided. Instrumental error, let's use instrumental, I think is better. Instrumental error was avoided by making sure that the stopwatch is in good condition um, by also ensuring that a replicate of the readings is done. Like you do check the reading more than once. Are you getting it? So that is how you can check, make that instrumental error, so to speak. Human error, experimental error, you avoid them. So let's put it this way. For that instrumental error, you avoid instrumental error by ensuring that the measuring instrument is in good condition. That is, the stopwatch is in good condition. The human error is also avoided by making sure that the readings is taken more than once. 
just try to what note all these errors so to say and how to avoid them then after taking note of that also take note that we have a question that was asked at the end of the experiment where they said the bulb of simple pendulum oscillates with an amplitude a equals to um 200 meter amplitude 200 meter that is 2 times 10 raised power 2 meter and period period 0 0.53 seconds are you getting it they now say calculate the speed of the bulb as it passes through the equilibrium position we are looking for the speed and speed is equal to omega r and what is omega omega is equal to 2 pi over t then because this is moving or is to pass through the equilibrium position remember that from simple pendulum experiment here is the what equilibrium position the origin are you getting it and at this origin x is equal to zero that is the starting point once the x is equal to zero the implication is that we'll be having we'll be having everything to be a a minus zero that means we'll be having our distance to be a minus zero that is a therefore we said that v will be equal to w a and is equal to 2 pi over t what a so once the x is at zero the equilibrium position the implication is that a minus x we have in the formula of um uh, simple um, simple harmonic motion. There is a topic called simple harmonic motion. We have this to be W V equals to W bracket what? Square root of what? A square minus X square. Are you getting it? We have this formula. Now when we talk about equilibrium position, S is zero. Zero square is zero. A square minus that will be giving you what? A square. The square root of A square will give you A. That's why we got V equal to W A. And what will it give you? 2 pi over what? 0 0.53 times what is your A? Your A is 200. It will give you the answer. Meter per second. 2 shift pi. 2 shift pi times 200 divided by 0 0.53. That will be giving you 2371. 2371 meter per second square. So our V is equal to 2371 meter per second square. That is the unit of it. 2371. So this was gotten from simple harmonic motion uh, topic. V equals to this bracket square root of a square minus s square where this de determines what at which position so if this this pendulum bulb swing to this point once it swing to this point we say that here is amplitude the amplitude that means a square minus a square it gives you zero so at this what at the extreme position as the extreme position the velocity will be zero but at equilibrium position the velocity will be w a that is what it means at extreme position the velocity will be zero and at equilibrium position the velocity will be maximum and that is what we have to be this so that is how to perform this experiment or to take care of this alternative to practical on this topic okay if you find this video helpful please feel free to click like subscribe share to many of your classmates share your questions on my work comment session so that we help you out see you in the next experiment